Hey, what's going on YouTube? Lionel here. Um, I'm going to do a quick um, top 10, 12 summer video. I'm going to get two honorable mentions and then I'll move into uh, just my top 10 videos um, for the summer. 10 things that this, these are my pre-summer fragrances. I ended up wearing everything that I talked about in spring. I know these videos are kind of close. I meant to do spring and say February, um, but actually February, early March. I think I got it out until late March or April. So anyway, with that said, I really want to get into my um, top 10, top 12 for the summer. This is pre-summer, so I really hadn't added a bunch um, over the last year as it relates to summer fragrances. Um, and also, just, just a quick response uh, to Brad uh, and his um, sort of his, his, his take, his pet peeves. I actually like the video. I think the video... Uh, was well done. I thought it was well thought out. Um, I would disagree with one point, and that's uh, the Aventus Killer piece. Um, I actually like that idea. I actually like fragrance houses um, really competing uh, with a fragrance that has become the 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 cornerstone of the the fragrance community, review community. Anyway, I mean, when you talk about a one of the most popular fragrances, I think Aventus is miles ahead of, of every other fragrance that has ever come across uh, the fragrance community's table. So um, I like that idea. You know, $330 bottle, if you can find something for $30, $35, um, and they can compete with it, I, I think you've done a really good job. I mean, it's like business. I, you know, I always refer to me being in business. There's, there's, there's barriers to entry, right? Um, and because there's barriers to entry on, on certain products or services, um, the prices are very, very high, right? It could be capital intensive. It could be, you know, a lack of technology, whatever it is. Uh, because of that barrier, what happens is th th there's a almost a monopoly um, or, you know, there, there's, um, um, you know, patent rights and those types of things that prevent anybody else from entering in. And the prices are very, very high uh, and things that we can enjoy or some things that we probably even become, you know, could be a need. Is very hard to get because of the price. Well, other competitors find cheaper, cheaper technology, cheaper labor, whatever it is, and that that barrier um, is broken, and then the product can become, um, you know, shared by other people. A lot of more, uh, more uh, you know, more people can experience that particular service or product. Um, so I enjoy that, right? I I, uh, I enjoy it. being in business. Uh, that's one thing about business that that really really gets me is is economics the economics of things so you know the economics of things Creed had a very very tight grip on the market and now there's other people coming along and they're getting closer I mean here's the thing is each of these companies are getting really really close to um, to, to almost cloning a product and again and here's the other problem people get mad about that like for some reason in the community people get mad about cloning fragrances like it happens in clothing it happens in vehicles once a vehicle has a certain technology other people make it it happens in music it happens in uh, um, technology man it happens in every it happens in drugs right i i take a, a something called montiaco which i don't even know how to pronounce it but it's a singular knockoff singular was is was very very expensive um now, Montioc has come along, or blood pressure medicine, or cholesterol medicine, all these things come along, and they're infinitely cheaper. That's good for us as consumers, right? As consumers, we now have options, and we can take the rest of our disposable income and make other decisions or invest it or do whatever else we need to do. So I don't understand why people get upset about um, clones and things of that nature. That's what you should do. That's that's business, I mean, that's, that's the, the, the economics of business, that's business one-on-one. So anyway, I'll get off that rant. Um, anyway, great video, Brad, uh, if you watch any of mine, um, I liked it a lot. So um, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with two honorable mentions. These are two honorable mentions for the summer. These are things that I am very, very excited to wear a bit more frequently. I have worn these throughout, you know, throughout the year, but, you know, as it becomes summer, these things become heavily heavily used so um, the usage goes up quite a bit so the first honorable mention I'm gonna go with is a uh, Dolce Light Blue uh, I'm actually wearing it now and this fragrance is a winner like Dolce Light Blue is a winner I, I don't know how anybody can not like this gorgeous little woody citrusy generic fragrance it is it is gorgeous I think it's appealing um, 
actually, I've never owned it. I, you know, I go dancing, dancing with a brother, uh, not dancing with him, dancing in the same location. Uh, anyway, um, he had it. I was like, man, what is that you're wearing? What's that? I mean, it must have went about 10 sprays. Uh, and I smelled it when he walked in, walked past. I'm like, man, that's great. Don't you like blue? And I went out and picked it up that weekend from Lily Direct for a little bit of nothing. So that's honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number two is going to come from the house of Clean, and it is called Clean Shower Fresh. I originally thought this fragrance was sort of generic, um, but it's nice, man. Um, I, I don't think I did this for my spring video. I hope I didn't. Uh, anyway, this is uh, it's a bit heavy. It's a bit thicker. Um, if I did it for my spring, it's going to make my spring in summer. I just I can't remember. But anyway, this one here is a gorgeous fragrance. I wear it quite a bit uh, casually as I'm going places, things of that nature. But it's just it's sort of a mint sort of a uh, a thick citrus. I mean, it's a lot thicker than you would have thought, but it's sort of an Irish spring type of thick, soapy, clean, citrusy fragrance, and I, I love it. So let's get into my top 10. I was going to try to do these in order. Man, it, it gets too hard. Uh, you know what? I'll shoot for. I'm going to shoot for doing these in order. Uh, number 10 is going to come from the House of Doce again, and it's a light blue flanker, and it is called Light Blue Living Strong Barley. I've talked about this. I reviewed it. Absolutely love it. Um, Number nine, let's see, man, it gets tough, man. Nine, 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 let's see what nine is. Nine is going to be, you know what, I'm going to go nine is going to be loam. I don't wear loam as much as I used to, um, but loam is still a classic. I mean, if anybody ever tags me, this this may make my Hall of Fame video. Uh, loam is just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that ginger citrus, I mean, probably one of the best on the market. If it would have really amped up some of the projection and stuff, this fra that fragrance would have been one of the most popular in a community, uh, but performance kind of drags it down a little bit. So anyway, that's number nine. Number eight, I'm going to go with the house of um, Issy Miyake, and then it's La O De Issa, La, La O De Issy. Um, another classic one. This could easily make first ballot Hall of Fame. I love the, the uh, yuzu in this, the citrus, the woody qualities. Um, again, very, very popular in the, in the African-American community, uh, but it's starting to taper off. And because of that, I've started to pick it back up and wear it more. So wonderful fragrance. Uh, that's number eight. Uh, number seven, I'm going to go uh, with the house of Hugo Boss, and it is Hugo Boss Dark. This is more of a office because, you know, it's kind of climate controlled in there. Really good for nights. Um, uh, but it, it really performs well in the heat. I've seen it just that violet and, and some of that darkness kind of pops out, um, but it's lighted. You know, it's too light for the fall, winter. Um, spring is a really good look for it, but summer this one really performs to me. Since it's, I mean, I've worn it on hotter days, and I really get a lot out of it. Uh, so that would be um, number seven. Number six. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh yeah, yeah. Number six is going to come from the house of Bond, and it is uh, O'Day, New York. Um, Odin New York is just, it's great. It's, it's one of the, it's, it's, it's a really good fragrance. Um, citrusy, a little thick, a little heavy. So I really like that. I like my, I don't like my citruses to be very, very fleeting. Um, but it is, it's a lovely citrus. Um, really good fragrance. Um, that's number six. Number five is going to come, you know what? I'm, I'm going to double up on the house of, uh, Bond. I'm going to go with, uh, this is a decant. Uh, by Wall Street, if you can see that, uh, by Wall Street is a gorgeous fragrance. Um, you know, citrusy, beachy, sort of a, an extreme. Um, you know, it has the cucumber note in there. A um, lot heavier than Millicent Imperial, but it does follow the vein of Millicent Imperial. Uh, but I really like Wall Street. It's kind of spicy, um, cucumber, citrusy scent that uh, performs very, very well on my skin. I'm talking about the performance on Bond's fragrances on my skin have been out of the roof. Um, both of those, uh, Ode New York and Wall Street, perform at a very high level for me. Um, number, uh, yeah, number four. Number four is going to come from the house of um, Versace, and it's Versace Pour Home. Man, this thing here gets me compliments out the wazoo. I love the bottle. I love the top. But man, this thing is just beautiful. It, it's like another fragrance I'm going to um, talk about. But gosh, dog, if Versace Pour Home is good. This is really um, a niche quality fragrance to me, to my in my opinion and in my wearing. I go about six sprays, very good longevity. The dry down is just where it really, really wins. Um, number three is going to come from the House of Creed. Uh, it is Silver Mountain Water. Could easily fight for number two or number one. Um, you know what Silver Mountain Water is. It's a 
it's, it's an essential fragrance to have if you can afford it um, because of the decants and everything you can get that relatively cheap Whew, this was tough number two um, is going to be uh, Millicene Imperial uh, Millicene Imperial makes number two um, Millicene Extreme that Mel makes I, I wear that one just as much um, this one for a more bit of a lighter equation uh, occasion that one's for a little bit heavier like I go dancing at night I throw on that one but I still put on a couple of sprays of this on my shirt um, this is perfect for like church office work I mean all that kind of stuff this is a beautiful beautiful scent uh, and it just gets better every year for me for some reason um, number one number one is going to be a designer this year and it is a uh, Laura Ohm Sport um, to me, there's not a, 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 a better summer fragrance. You can get married in this. You can go to work in this. You can go to church in this. You can wear a tux with this. You can wear jeans with this. You can wear shorts with this. This is the most universally appealing fragrance I think I've ever had in my collection. Um, this beats out every summer. Um, the only other summer fragrance that I would probably give an edge to is Jardine de Amalfi. Uh, because of the price is so ridiculously high, I really can't. And I have a, I have about five mils left of it. I didn't even put it in this review. It could be number one. Uh, but because I can't afford it, um, I, I won't put it number one. I'm going to put what I can afford and what I think is easily the best designer fragrance on the market. Um, and probably my, just my favorite fragrance. Um, one of my favorite fragrances. Um, Ro'u Aventus, and this will be in my top three. Um, I just absolutely adore this fragrance. I adore what Chanel did with it. Um, it has never failed me. So that's it for me. I appreciate you guys. Be blessed.